And today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about the SG Pulse. Watch this video to find out more. Hopefully now you've seen my video on how to install the SG Pulse on your rifle. So I wanted to take a little bit of time just to explain how the SG Pulse works, the functions, and also talk through all of the settings on the app. To switch on the SG Pulse, press and hold the clear window on the front of the device until the light comes on. When the device first switches on, it always switches on within level mode. Once the SG Pulse is set up in the horizontal plane, you'll get a green light on the back of the SG Pulse. That means that it is within the tolerances that you have set on the app. In my case, that's 0.4 degrees. If the rifle is canted over to the right, the SG Pulse lights up blue, matches the color of my rifle. And if the cant is slightly over to the left, the SG Pulse lights up red. You don't need to use the app to set the SG Pulse into stability mode. You can just do that from the device itself. The way you do that is if you press and hold the button until it changes color. When stability mode is activated, the device will remain red whilst the rifle is in motion. And then when the rifle is stable enough to take the shot, it will go green. You can revert back to level mode by pressing and holding the button until the light changes. So the light has just changed back to blue, so now it is in level mode. Let's now go through the drills app with the SG Pulse. So we've already connected our SG Pulse. We did that during the initial setup. So when the SG Pulse is switched on, you'll see there is a green icon in the top left. So we tap on that icon and then you'll see SG Pulse. And what we do now is I just go through the menu. So the first on the menu is the demo mode. In this mode, you can see the horizontal level, the stability and the barrel angle. So by moving the horizontal level of the rifle, you'll see that that changes in the app. Also the stability, if the shot is unstable, you'll see it's tracking my muzzle angle. So when I let go, it should become stable again. There you go. And it also has the barrel angle. So if you're shooting downhill, or if you're shooting uphill, it will show you the barrel angle. Let's come out of that menu. To use the SG Pulse in level mode, you will need to disconnect it from the rifle and hold it as shown on the picture on the app. With the SG Pulse disconnected from your rifle and in the vertical position, it can be used as a three axis level. You can place that on your rifle and you'll see within the app, if you tilt it either way, backwards, forwards, it will move the level within the app. Once you reconnect the SG Pulse to your rifle, it returns back to level mode. The next setting in the app is the sensitivity setting. This is the sensitivity of the shot detection of the SG Pulse unit. I've got mine set on four for dry fire practice, but it goes all the way up to sensitivity of 31. It's gonna dial that back down to four and confirm. And that locks in that sensitivity. But if you pair the SG timer and the SG pulse in the app, the sensitivity of the shots will be detected by the SG timer and not the SG pulse. Brightness settings. You can adjust the brightness of the LEDs in the app. So I just dial that down to four. And you watch the LEDs fade. Dial it down to one. And then they go right down to setting number one. Because I'm mostly outside. I leave that on 10. The horizontal level limit is how much cant you will accept on your rifle. 
it comes from the factory set at 0.4 degrees so that's 0.2 degrees either way so that's quite a tight tolerance if you're happy to widen that tolerance you can do you can change that just by typing on the screen if you put one degree in there uh, once you confirm it will now go half a degree either way so it'll give you a little bit more tolerance in the cant if that is what you want I'm going to set mine back to 0.4 Stability zone. The stability zone settings within the app control the SG pulse when it is in stability mode. So there are two settings. There's a green zone and a yellow zone. In the green zone, that is when the green light will be on on your SG pulse. So at the, currently this is set to one MOA, so that's one minute of angle, and that's one minute of angle of barrel movement. The yellow zone is currently set at five minutes of angle. You can change this to your own user requirements. I'm going to leave mine at the factory settings. Calibration we already talked about in my last video, which is when we set the rifle up. You can also calibrate the barrel angle. I'm not going to do this because it already comes factory set. At the bottom of the screen, there is an option to restore all of the settings back to factory settings. Thank you for watching my video on the SG Pulse. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do hit that like button and drop me a comment below. If you don't already, please also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and happy shooting.